954. You're listening to News Radio 620 WTMJ. Brian Sikma, Michelle Litchens in for Charlie Sykes. Planned Parenthood in the news again. In fact, Wisconsin getting some, some attention from the national media over the Planned Parenthood issue. That's right. Uh, you know, and just a reminder, up after the top of the hour, we will have Amy Lynn uh, in studio talking about genetic testing, and it's going to be quite an interesting conversation. But let's talk about this Planned Parenthood thing. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal two days ago and it said, the Obama administration on Tuesday warned states that halting Medicaid funds to organizations because they provide abortion services would put them in violation of federal law, creating pressure on states to restore funding they have stripped from Planned Parenthood Federation of America. That, that sounds like a threat, doesn't it? That sounds a lot like a threat. That if you are not going to give money to their specific private organization that they support, for ideological reasons, that the federal government might, might withhold Medicaid money from the state of Wisconsin. They said there are 10 states who have taken action to curtail medical funding to uh, Planned Parenthood in the wake of a series of undercover videos released by an anti-abortion group, the Center for Medical Progress. The video showed Planned Parenthood and officials discussing the provision of fetal tissue in the sales and stuff, and they obviously said that they're not doing that to make money, and they have hence said that they are not going to accept money anymore um, for the sale or, you know, when they distribute fetal body parts. But the whole concept of it was something that I think shocked enough Americans and made people realize that when they talk about Planned Parenthood being there for the physical health care of women, abortion is not health care. Well, let's take a look at this. So Planned Parenthood is a private organization. It is not funded explicitly by the federal government. It's not an arm of any medical services agency at the state or federal level. It also has a political action arm. There is an entire arm of Planned Parenthood that is affiliated with the health services provider, with the abortion provider, that engages in political activity. And here we have the federal government saying states can't set rules about who gets Medicaid money because if you look at how Wisconsin's law is written, it was just passed by the legislature, signed by Governor Scott Walker into law, it doesn't say Planned Parenthood can't get money. Right. It says these are the criteria you need to have as a medical health uh, services provider, and if you do not meet these criteria, then it bumps you down several tiers. Now, because Planned Parenthood doesn't actually provide cancer screenings, because Planned Parenthood actually doesn't do a lot of the things they like to make you think they do when it comes to women's health issues, they are not as highly rated as an actual qualified clinic, as perhaps even a county board of health right. that provides some of these services. I think the end of the article, though, Brian, summarizes exactly why this is all going on, and I'm so glad that you mentioned their political arm. They wrote about $528 million, or 41% of Planned Parenthood's revenue, comes from state, local, and federal funds. Its latest annual report states, and more than 70% of that is reimbursements for services under Medicaid. That is a whole lot of money. That is a lot of money. And just for the record, since we're in an election year, Planned Parenthood's president, Cecilia Richards, has endorsed Hillary Clinton. And previously to that, she has endorsed other Democratic candidates. They've never come to Republicans to endorse them. It's a very partisan organization when you look at it. But nevertheless, the Obama administration wants to punish states for doing what's really in the best interest of health care consumers in those states and what's in the best interest of taxpayers. That's exactly right. And we are in an election year, so we are watching a lot of things play out. And I think you are going to hear more about this. I'm very interested to talk to Congressman Sean Duffy at 1107 because I want to hear, actually, if the federal government can withhold Medicaid money to the state of Wisconsin. Medicaid was the fastest growing area of the budget in the state. It eats all of the new growth in tax dollars that the state has to spend. It's a big deal, and it would dramatically affect our state budget, and I would hate to see us have to go back to funding Planned Parenthood in order to get that money. This is Michelle Litchens and Brian Sigma sitting in for Charlie Sykes on 620-1000.